so journey builder session four question and answer i added here uh, the first one whatever that was sent to me that i've added without any sorting how to optimize api entry event for journey builder efficiently who who wants to answer this yes yes see so my question mm -hmm. was uh, clearly uh, about uh, the api uh, api event as an entry source for journey builder mm -hmm. but i just want to understand mm -hmm. uh, where we can utilize this uh, entry uh, entry source mm -hmm. efficiently like uh, in what use cases mm -hmm. i just want okay. to understand okay uh, it has uh, if i have to go deep i can go deep uh, uh, yeah, at sir. the uh, at the top point but suraj uh, sorry uh, sumit do you have anything to say about this question uh, a very good question because uh, even I have a related question uh, which i have asked mm. Uh, mm. even i want to know because uh, uh, there is uh, there is a scenario i wanted to discuss mm. about where we are using uh, sales post data and it's like uh, there is mm. a web form, web form from that web mm. form we are sending the data uh, through uh, mm. smart capture to, uh, to sales sales cloud and from sales cloud we are getting the data into marketing cloud and due to this the flow is getting slow so there is a double opt in flow in that and uh, because of this it's taking like uh, 2 to 3 minutes to receive uh, that email and i wanted to see if we can do something using an api event to fasten this process interesting okay uh i'll answer this no problem second is explain path optimizer ankita you want to explain what is path optimizer sorry so uh if we want to test uh, different variations of like uh these send type or uh using channel etc so uh, like we do in the a b testing we can use this path optimizer also and we can get to know that okay uh for which variation for which particular content we should go for in the uh like as a result or in the next send activity uh, i'll take five and then see uh, i'll take all the questions first and try to see if i can explain any if somebody you know will uh, be in between we can come back to this ppt and see if i'm missing something so there was a, this another question how to configure a trigger send via journey builder it was i think lakshmi right so lakshmi if you can clarify this question yeah uh... Actually, I have come across a scenario where you know we need to send a trigger send depending on an action yeah. by submitting or registering a, a web form. We need to send a welcome email. I just yeah. want to know how can we trigger that particular email via a journey automation? Okay, it has more more or less similar to API entry event. This was how to update a contact while in the mid of a journey. You. will update it if i have anything else this was also from you right uh, yes. if you can explain this us hmm. no i i really don't have a correct scenario but i have come across this question via a social yeah. channel um okay. i think i have asked you earlier also but i was not able to uh, you know hmm. understand what you said or what the other person has answered on the social form so i just hmm. wanted to clarify that so this is the fourth session okay till third session uh, maximum things i i have actually uh, explained but uh, only thing is people has to basically take some time understand what i'm saying Thanks. this one was which activity will require customization to work with journey builder i actually didn't understood this question which activity will require customization to work with journey builder uh, Whose question? I think it was Asis, but he didn't join. Anyway, I'll if I if I uh, based on my understanding, I'll try to explain this. Hmm. Again, the API event, API event for journey builder scenarios. Then let's implement. Okay, implementation. Okay, but it's up to you. First, you, what I'm teaching you people, sit down and you try to implement, and then you'll understand. But obviously, there was a few people who said that uh, some implementation has to be done, which basically I think. it is up to you people you need to build a use case and start implementing and if you find an issue then from there we can take it up but anyway if uh, some day if i get some energy of uh, showing you the full implementation it can be use is simple is very simple thing to do what i feel hmm. only complex scenarios that can be help to build anyway how to use okay before before going this so i think this was also from lakshmi also right let's implement use case based 
uh, use case based solution in next session no it's not from me oh okay so i don't know who who has is it vibhav i don't know who yes, has question probably it should be from vibhav okay hmm let me to understand from him if uh, vibhav you are there right uh, maybe there, let yes. me know yeah so what kind of use case you want to like uh, which one which one uh, which question num- number 7 let's implement use case based solution in next session oh yeah anything i mean like you know out of all someone who's asking for the api event search session okay fine uh, i'll try to hmm basically basically i don't want to inject any subscriber into that uh, journey that's why i don't you know activate and build hmm that's the only one if i if i get some uh, i have been trying out to, to figure out uh, somebody gave me that free free hand to do anything then i'll start doing this so implementing also see also uh, the design drafting and everything i can do it but i'll not run the uh, journey that's the only point i have hmm. but let's see if i can uh, the other one is how we can use contact from one journey to another uh, whose question is this who will uh, uh, deep uh, do you do you understand this question how can we use contact from one journey to another journey something is not uh, there in the question uh-huh. itself i feel uh, sassy because contacts is all about the attribute groups so once the attribute group is created we can use it for uh, the journeys however the journeys that we want to create so uh-huh. contact data is something that will change uh, uh, along the journey path so mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. let's see yeah let's see what we can do hmm. this okay. question number 9 can we change the contact entry setting in a running journey who wants to answer this okay deepak uh, let's see your answer uh, okay so once the entry uh, i mean the contact uh, once the journey is activated after setting the contact re entry mode uh however the how many versions that we create we cannot change the contact re entry mode so once it is set and activated then we cannot able to change uh we have to analyze this setting uh, before hand itself uh, discussing with the team before activating the journey itself so once it is activated the contact re entry mode cannot be changed either way if we want to change the re entry mode then we have to duplicate the journey or you know or creating a copy of the journey again and we have to you know uh, change the setting and activate it so that's the solution yeah. for that sumit yes sir uh what deepak said was i believe that's what my answer is going to be uh, we cannot change it after creating a journey uh, when i said creating a journey after activating the journey i mean before that we can do it but once the journey is activated we cannot change the uh, the contact entry settings which is like there are three options and uh, mm-hmm. if we create a new version i'm pretty sure still we can't do it i mean never but i feel it is because uh, it is going to take the same settings from the uh, previous version so yeah we have to create either create a new journey or maybe just copy it and uh, set the settings mm-hmm. there so. sapna the so question is simple can we change the journey setting uh, in a running journey possible we have to create a new version I mean, this is just my experience yeah. this is what i know yeah so only for the no entry if you if you are setting your contract uh, sorry your entry setting as no entry then only you don't have options uh, in the running version there is no option okay once you activate it and is running uh, you do you don't have any option to change the setting but you can create a new version and in the new version uh, except no uh, no entry Hmm. others can be basically changed that is what we can do but if you make it no entry then uh, we don't have any other option to change it and i actually in the first uh, session of this journey builder i had said this uh, very you know very uh, extensive way explaining this. but anyway we will see this uh, so in one of our session i think in the third session right how to use sales cloud lead contact right so we have already explained this i am going to skip this then we have one more five questions how to 
call an external API from a journey builder? Though is a very interesting question. And uh, I'll try to give a brief, but you know, you need to have a lot of uh, different uh, components to understand PostMonger, uh, Hiroku, and all. So I'll try to see whatever I can. Hmm. I called uh, in my candid conversation, I called Tony also. He had built a lot of uh, external activities, hmm. but uh, nobody actually has that, uh, you know, because they are doing for some company in the inside a project. Uh, nobody will be able to show you. Neither it will be anyway in the bootcamp or anyway. Hmm. Bootcamps are all enabling program, where they are only going to enable you to help you understand. They are not going into details into you know, what happens with different scenario or not. So all those are all enablement programs. So that's why I call this one also enablement. But for me, it's not only enablement. It is like enablement enabling you not salesforce marketing cloud helping to understand what is salesforce marketing cloud i set a lot of expectation for you guys and i feel bad now this one can we schedule journey more frequently hmm. 30 minutes 50 minutes 10 minutes 5 minutes uh, this is very interesting to me ankita i think it was you or who who, who had asked this question who was this uh, i didn't ask this uh, no probably probably okay. i guess Okay, <laughs> but it is a very interesting one. Uh, very interesting one. Yeah. Then we have once the journey is over, do we need to change the status as complete manually? So I don't understand this question. What do we mean by complete? So maybe whatever my understanding is, I'll try to help uh, them also. And then we have we have the duplicate by email address feature in normal sense. Do we have any feature like this in journey configuration? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So by out of the fix out of the box feature, there is no deduplicate in journey builder, but you have other options. Maybe I'll try to show them. And the, uh, the yeah, this is another good question. Any way to exclude sending in journey builder on Saturday and Sundays for companies and do not have week uh, weekend business hours. Uh, the second part. I don't understand. Saturday, Sunday, I can clearly understand. But do you have weekend business? So it's up to you how you configure your journey. I think this is, that's it. But oh, 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 okay. I have more. 16. Hmm. So I think this is from Ankita, right? A journey is running in, is running, and one of the subscribers unsubscribe in mid of the journey. How would we stop to send them to another step? So somebody unsubscribe and uh, we want to stop. Uh, this is Ankita, right? Who, who yes, person? yes, yes. Yeah. So when you are saying unsubscribe, it is unsubscribe of the all subscriber label. Where see first this question. Uh, first, I have to clarify, okay? Because when you are doing unsubscribe, it is already unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. So you, why do you need to stop? He's not going. The person is not going to get any email, neither from this journey nor from marketing cloud. If it is unsubscribe from all subscriber. Oh, but yeah, it can be modeled into different way. Like you're not storing your source of truth into all subscriber. Okay, this will require a lot of discussions. I'll go there also. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'll see if I, I will try to cover this one. So we have 16. It, it I thought it will be very quite easy, but uh, the questions that you have asked are, and the way I am going to explain is always detailed. Hmm. If, if I want to run a journey having four data extensions, like the first D, I will use for entry source and second D, I want to use for decision split. Okay, both the preferences. When the SMS people are running on their path, I want to take SMS related information that I need from third data extension. Third data extension. And likewise, in the email, I want to use 4D. For the first and the second D, I'm clear. What if we relate this contact builder? We can use decision split but using third and fourth okay you are confused but i'm also confused with this last line okay what if we relate this contact builder we can use decision split, no no but... what i'm saying shashi is like uh, for first and second that how we can uh, use this it, mm. it's clear that okay we will have the first data extension as entry source and second we mm. can if we are building a relationship in the data designer that you uh, explained that day mm. right a date in that mm. so we can use the uh, mm -hmm. that second de also the related d for our decision split mm. 
but how can we hmm. uh, use this third and fourth for uh, taking the information hmm. in the journey that's what i'm confused ha ah, to so it's a similar way okay but i'll show you hmm. okay a uh, webinar journey is running and one of the email is sent when the webinar was on next month 15th however the date has changed and now is going to be on 28th how should we handle this this one interesting one okay but you have already seen the person saying that the like i'm saying a invitation saying okay i'm yes. going to conduct a, a q and a session on uh, today and suddenly i said no i'm going to change so either we'll cancel that and again send another email isn't it that's plain and simple for me okay but anyway uh, we'll see how uh, i'll take it in a different way and i'll try to explain this one as well ha huh. so i think the full use case will be there uh, so i have i'm going to see this session okay so yeah hmm first is the uh, api api optimize event entry efficiently okay. so first let's try to see ah uh, so we have a journey builder let me delete this and i'm going to add an api event so for this also uh, i think i have asked you guys to basically uh, go through my uh, this blog right so in this blog i have explained how you going to configure api builder hmm. so you need to go to see create an install package step 1 i said step 1 i have given a step by step process so you have to create an install package now you have to choose this one okay uh, api integration that has to be your component and then after that you have to choose server to server integration hmm. from the install package and uh, this is the minimum requirement that you need to do that you need to select whatever you want to do with that api either you want to read write execute okay activate and delete whatever you want i for safer purpose i'll select everything and also you can read write to the all subscriber list okay list and subscribers if you want others you can or you can use all other data access and all so these are the scope and most of people forget about the scope uh, what scope they have to basically give the right to that api and and then you can you know uh, to test it you need to basically install the postman and then uh, try using it okay and then your first the first part when once you do is for any api event in marketing cloud especially when it comes to the rest api okay or some any other integrations or the soap api you need some token hmm. that becomes an authentication i have seen lot of people saying that i want to have an uh, run an api but uh, the api either it has to have some you know header values which will provide the authentication so here the authentication is done by the access token that is provided by marketing cloud so i have given a code also so i'll go through this code but the question was if i have to let's go back uh, the question if i understand is how to optimize api efficiently so see i can break this down into lot of different categories how to basically optimize it. first from the use case point of view is uh, you are injecting a subscriber okay into this journey builder one by one if this is one by one if you are not scheduling by say if you schedule it by automation like i said in my initial discussion, if i'm saying this is a data extension okay and once i select a data extension and i have shown right if you do by automation or you do directly scheduling by this uh, journey itself with this automation right if i if i see some that extension let's see hmm. just say if i take this uh, any anything hmm. and then i say this and then i schedule it from here hmm. so if this automation will only be enabled if you have an uh, i have uh, said this in the multiple session right now with uh, when you are doing api event okay in this uh, in this data extension uh, whatever is the number of uh, records that you have it is going like a bulk inside injecting inside a journey hmm. but if you if you have to do the api event it is only one by one you don't have a bulk approach that you can inject a bulk of people with this api event okay it is one to one somebody you have like uh, what sumit said was they have some smart capture or uh they have some other web pages hmm. where somebody in the say let's say if i go to uh 
I don't have any website that submits a page or something. Okay, let's say uh, what do you say? Uh, let's say let's say let's say Amazon. Hmm. If I say Amazon, so if in this Amazon, uh, I I come here and they say okay, uh, you need to sign off. Hmm. And when I sign up this page, let's say uh, here. Uh, so they say if I say like create your uh, Amazon account. And this is the form they have. And once I fill this form, I create this. Okay? On this point also, you can basically trigger a journey. Hmm. They have. And once I fill this form, I create this. Okay? On this point also, you can basically trigger a journey. Hmm. Because after this, on this submit water, create your Amazon account. When I click, it can inject that user into this. So it will not be a bulk. It will be one to one. Hmm. And here also, if you do this way also, then it will be like a real time. Hmm. Somebody clicking on this form and it's coming. It's not it has to be like it should be a cloud page always. Hmm. So uh, via Postman also, you know, you can hit a Postman and then inject uh, subscribers into a journey builder, right? Or you can create your own website and then in your website, you can call this marketing cloud API hmm. and then inject the subscriber here so if i again i'll go back to uh, deepak to understand uh, this question okay how to optimize api entry for journey builder efficiently now tell me uh, explicitly what you want to see here deepak for this question yeah so clearly i uh almost got the answer uh, for this smart capture form so i just want mm -hmm. to understand key uh, the token that we use uh, right uh, sesi mm -hmm. hmm. so see uh, there, uh, for... see yeah this requires a lot of depth but anyway i'll try to do as much as can hmm. so let's say uh, i can build a web page Okay, like I have an email that I'm going to send with the web page. Yeah, okay. I don't have the, you know, in this, I don't have a web page, hmm. uh, cloud page to enable it. Okay, so uh, what happens, uh, Deepak? Okay, let's say you have an email, and in the email, somebody clicks, uh, you have a CTA button in the email. Hmm. And yes. uh, somebody clicks on sure. that uh, particular link, it gets redirected to cloud page, right? And in the cloud page, uh, you can follow all these steps. Let's say first, I'm going to uh, have this query. So in your cloud page, you are sending subscriber key and all those details or your whatever you're doing. Hmm. But to trigger the API event, the very important detail is uh, you need to have this. Where we are. So first, you need to have this. Uh, access token hmm. and then uh, you need to build this code for adding the subscribers into the journey okay let me see uh, what i can do 